The final project for the anthropology of the built environment asked students to pick a particular place on the Whittier College campus. We were asked to analyze those places in theory of the built environment and to record our own observations and conduct our own interviews of people interacting with this particular place that we have chosen to analyze. In other words, we were asked to engage with a specific space and draw out any social relationships we may have found. The place I chose was the Lillian Slade Aquatic Center. It is a relatively new addition to the Whittier College campus with fairly low traffic on a daily basis, but is home to three different aquatic teams, men's water polo, women's water polo, and the swim team. My focus will be on the relationship between time and space found within this environment between the in-groups, which consist of the three athletic teams, versus the out-groups, which is everyone else. Throughout the duration of numerous visits to the aquatic center, it was witnessed that the opposing groups in this space created a relationship between time and space. Each group, whether the in-group or the out-group, had a specific time and a specific space in the aquatic center, creating patterns of cyclical and linear rhythms. In the early mornings between 5 and 7, the in-group students are occupying the pool while the out-group students are not allowed to be on deck. During the later morning, the pool is empty, but there are a few in-group students that hang out in the storage room area studying or socializing. My interest falls in the times of day in the afternoon and occasional evenings where there is found to be a mix of in-group and out-group students. By the afternoon, there is a mix of the in-group and out-group students. There is a clear difference seen during this time of day and specific use of space. Here, the out-group students are occupying the pool for a swim class or recreational use, while the in-group students are socializing and studying in the storage area. It was witnessed that the pool can be universal to a variety of students and even faculty who choose to use it, but where there is a clear boundary of territory is that found in the storage room area, where it is the in-group students who can occupy that space. In the late afternoon into the evening on a daily basis, it is just the in-group students that are occupying the pool for practice or working out. But there are some special occasions, such as a water polo game, where there is a mix of in-group and out-group students and faculty together at the same time. During this time, the in-group students are occupying the pool for the game, while the out-group students are occupying the stands. The difference in the two times where there is a mix of in-group and out-group students is the relationship and interaction found between them. In the afternoon, there is a clear separation between the in-group and out-group students, but during the event of a water polo game or any other aquatic event, the imaginary wall that separates the in-group from the out-group students come down and both groups seem to come together. Based on the relationship to time and space, it shows how deeply embedded relationship that the in-group students have with this space because of their many hours of labor, engagement, and attachment to this space. These in-group students are able to do things such as socialize and study in this environment, whereas other students who are not part of these athletic groups are doing somewhere else. It is apparent that the many hours these in-group athletes have dedicated to this environment gives them a strong connection to this space, but with that, they are able to make claims to the aquatic center as a whole. These in-group students feel they have certain rights to this particular space that the out-group students should not. This right to the environment can be seen on a daily basis where it differs is during that aquatic event. It is important to remember that these aquatic events don't happen often, but when they do, the clear separation between the two groups seem to diminish, but as soon as the event is over, the separation of the groups is shown once again.